Hello, hello. I hope you're all having a great week. This week I have a palette in mind and the rest I'm really just going to play by ear and just follow my intuition. I started off wanting to use Titan Buff, Paroli Scarlet, and Neutral Tint. When I dipped my brush in the Titan Buff, I noticed that I hadn't done a really good job cleaning my brush from the last time I used it and there was a little bit blue left over that tinted my Titan Buff. And it turned into this uh, light blue color that I really liked, so I just went with it. I'm going to start by painting a background, and then once the background dries, I'll see where my intuition wants to guide me. I'm going to be working with a combination of two brushes for my background. First my mop brush, and then I'll also be using a number 14 round brush. Now it's time to let this first layer dry. When I came back in with more neutral tint to deepen that color, it gave me the sense that this was a horizon line and a very distant landscape. So I started to work with this idea in mind. I dipped my brush in water and then I ran it across the wet paint and started to blend it downwards. This Pyrrol Scarlet, or Paroli Scarlet, I'm not really sure how to, how to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced in a couple of different ways. Anyway, it's a beautiful color, and I think it looks especially beautiful against the, the mix of that blue and the Titan Buff that I created above. Some clean water on my mop brush will help me soften the edge of that hard line, both above and below. While the paper is still wet, I add a little bit more of uh, the Pyroli Red or Pyroli Scarlet um, in a less diluted form and since the paper is wet, it'll blend into the rest of the background. I also use some less diluted neutral tint right at the horizon line so I can darken that line between what I guess will be my sky and the landscape.
Then I use a small amount of water to blend that paint downwards. Now that my background is completely dry, I'm ready to start using my pens and markers to add some details. I like to use a lot of stippling in my watercolor abstracts because it's a technique that I find very relaxing. Now I'll add a few little geological details. I want to add some simple vertical lines on the next layer and as a guide I draw a line every inch or so in this layer so that it can help work as a guide for me and this will help me keep my lines relatively straight. Using my pen with an extra fine tip, I'm now going to draw a layer of swirls just under the last layer I was working on. I pulled out my white pen again and now I'm going to draw some abstract lines just above the horizon line. My go-to gold paint is usually star gold, but in this case, I think this pearl gold will look a lot nicer. I like how adding this gold just above the horizon line is also adding a little bit of warmth to that area. For balance, I'll add a little bit more of this pearl gold to the bottom of my painting as well. The top half of my painting seems to be missing something, so I've decided to add an abstract sun.
adding some more white below the horizon line will add some more contrast and balance. My Zen abstract landscape is now done. Sometimes simple really is the best way to go. I really enjoyed creating this little painting for you. I hope it has inspired you for your next project and if nothing else, I hope it also helped you relax. What are your thoughts on painting abstract landscapes? Please don't hesitate to share your comments and questions in the section down below. Thank you again for joining me on this journey. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!